the answer to this question of how to find a perfect master is given in the old adage of the East which says, when the chela is ready, the guru appears. The adage does not say, when the seeker is ready, he can find a guru. It says, when the seeker is ready, the guru himself appears. When the seeker is ready, the master himself appears. It means the onus for appearance is on the master, not on the seeker. It is not the seeker who has to run around looking for a master. It is the master who has to run around looking for the seekers. That is why the role of a master has been likened to the role of a shepherd. It is not the sheep who have to run to look where the shepherd is. It is the shepherd who collects his sheep and takes them back home. The sheep are carefree, they run around, but the shepherd will go even long distances just to pick up one stray sheep who has gone astray. Therefore, it is the master's work to pick up the seekers. What is the seeker's job? To seek. Therefore, when the seeker is ready, the master appears. Therefore, if one really wants to find a perfect living master and follow the path of the masters, one should seek. Seek intensely. Seek sincerely. Seek with the utmost of sincerity. Seek as much as one can seek. Seek with love. Seek with emotion. Seek with passion. Seek in every form. Seek the truth. Seek reality. Seek within. In whatever way one can seek. Seek, seek, seek and you will find. When you seek, the master must appear. Imagine people are compassionate here. If they find that you cry and, and run around and want something, even they feel after a while molten in their hearts and want to do something for you. Would you think that the creator who made us would be so lacking in compassion as not to listen to the voice of the seeker? Do you think the masters who are enlightened enough and have the wisdom and the knowledge and awareness of the creator who have become one with the creator within their consciousness, they would ignore the seeking of a real seeker? No. The truth is, when the seeker takes one step, the masters take ten towards the seeker. Therefore, when we are ready and we are sincere in our seeking, the master will come and appear. How will we know that the master has come if we are seeking? Maybe the master comes and passes by, he's so ordinary, he just goes by along and we don't notice. How will we find that the master has arrived and that we are now able to get the benefit of the path of the masters? There is a strange thing in human life and that is called coincidence. It is the synchronicity of events that strikes us as unusual. In the course of our life, so many things happen. And we wonder how such a thing could have happened in such a strange coincidence. This is no coincidence. This is no accident. That is the way the perfect living masters come into our life when we are ready. They come by coincidence. They create circumstances in our life that make us look for them and then they suddenly appear and we can recognize them because of the coincidence through which they appear. Coincidence is the language of God. There are only two languages spoken in this universe. The language of man, which is all the written spoken languages that we know of, and the language of God, which is spoken through coincidence and circumstance. If one wants to know what God is saying to us, look at the coincidences that happen in your life. If you want to know what we are saying to each other, look at the thoughts that go into the head. There are only two languages. Coincidence is not an accident, it is the language of God. It is the means which is used in order to achieve that great meeting with masters that makes it possible for us to go on the path of the masters. The path of the masters is a meeting with the master through coincidence and then going within according to his instructions and escaping from the great prison house which we call this physical world. This physical world will not let us go unless we are able to find a perfect living master. When we are seekers and the perfect living master, like an ordinary person, comes into our life, he affects us by his love. 
He affects us by the kind of teaching he gives us, which is oriented towards going within and not going outside. He does not tell us, come out and I will show you a stone which you can worship. He does not take us to temples, stones, structures outside. He takes us to the only real temple, which is the human body, makes us go inside. He takes us to the only real creator who sits inside us behind the eyes. The path of the masters is the way that takes us out of this prison house. We are really lucky that even at this time, in so much of turmoil in modern society, the masters still walk about like ordinary people in our midst. And when we seek, they come and find us. Thank you.